Okay, this one's for all you Jimbos and Grease Monkeys. Yeah, I know, I gotta start cutting up all these propane tanks, take them to the scrapyard. Yeah, so, motor is seized up. Let's pop the hood. Let's crank it anyway. My shift lever, I gotta pull it to turn. See nothing. Click. So, my turbo was fried and it was leaking. I got the turbo over here. It was leaking and causing the truck to start really rough in the mornings. Even in the summer. This is my old hood. I changed this. So I got the parts from the guy who was about to um, give me a motor. So the engine mount here broke and the motor slipped onto the oil cooler line. I don't know if we can... Where's the other line there? I guess maybe the guy rerouted it in a different area. But the motor, he said, fell on the oil line and uh, I was on the highway. I have a load of mulberry in here. So I was on the highway and I didn't notice that all the oil spilled out. There was no sign of it. I was looking behind me, but how I knew, knew something was wrong was because I started hearing this, the, the compressions. So I got off the highway a little bit after that and I just got into a gas station and I had a flatbed come in tow and we changed the line. It was a week and a half trying to find the right part. Finally I got it. We installed it. We changed the filter. We changed the hood and what else did we do? And I have the engine mount to change. We didn't do that because we got the problem here. We might have to pull the motor. Well, we're going to have to pull the motor out now for sure, right? But anyways, so that's what happened. And then we put everything back together and then the truck just wouldn't start. Now it did turn over uh, when I tried to start it. It did like a, a little bit of a turn, but after that it just clicked so i was thinking what options do i have i actually want to call another mechanic and talk to him because i've seen what some people do is they'll take the head off and then they'll go and bang on the cylinder and try and get it to spin right now the engine's been it's got fresh oil in it now but the problem is the motor hasn't been turning the oil so that it gets into the parts so when you start it's easier to start you know and actually it's a really warm day today so um i thought maybe if it's a little warmer you turn the key and then it'll go but obviously you could see that it's not the case right so i got my ac pulley to delete so that helps me with a little bit of extra horsepower i had this motor rebuilt two years ago so it really sucks that this motor is seized up but i can pull parts off of it from time to time and uh, i don't know what i'm where i'm going to store this motor that's the thing right so it's a problem moving it around and then um you know where to store it right i could make room for it if i had to anyways i'm gonna go see the guy with the motor so the motor's gonna cost me 1200 bucks that's about 900 us and then a couple more hundred bucks for the guy to pull it out and then there's the wood yard over there look there's the hoarder that got um kicked out He's a tree cutter and he sells wood, but he's also a hoarder. So they've been working for two weeks to clear everything out in there. So my landlord and his buddy, they're gonna actually put the motor in for me. So hopefully I could do that um, next week sometime. So hopefully I could do that next week sometime and get the truck running before Christmas and make a few more bucks during Christmas. I got my neighbor helping me out and he's doing some deliveries. We're going to pick up this and that and uh, you know, move some wood around and whatnot. So I'm getting by for now, but I just need to be back in gear because it's costing me too much money to do all this shit, you know? What's going on, man? You good? Yo, yo. Yeah, Anthony's gonna help me put it in. Oh yeah, Anthony. Yeah. Is. He can do everything. Man. This guy, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, he says uh, when he was on uh, drugs. Yeah. He went to jail. Yeah. And after jail, this guy like he's 
This guy can do anything. Oh yeah. <laughs> anything. Oh yeah, man. He's um the city disposal. Yeah. He's fixing all their trucks now. Yeah. All the like implements they put on the truck, like yeah. you know the hydraulic box, yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. The tarp mechanism. He's putting all that in. Right. He's doing all the work now because John came over there and he saw he saw what he was doing. And he said, wow, that one looks really nice. I didn't think it was going to look so nice, you know? It's not just looking nice, but structurally sound, he's doing everything. He, he can do anything, that anything. guy. Anything. Anything. Anything Anthony can do it, nobody cannot do it. Exactly. Yeah, man. He took uh, the forklift assembly from yeah. the forklift that he made the, the auger to drill the holes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. man. He's, he's ridiculous, that guy. What chopper is that? I don't know which chopper is that. It's not CP24, uh, City not, Panic. And this is not yellow. It's not the orange. Yeah, it's not the orange helicopter, no, the, think, uh, the uh, hospital uh, one. It looks like a police. Okay. Yeah, so um, this guy, you know, uh, up in Lindsay, okay. which is what? Lindsay's maybe an hour, 15 minutes from here. Okay. So he said his little brother, three years old, got attacked by a dog because he tried to take the dog from the bone, yeah. or he tried to take the bone from the dog. Yeah. They called the orange, they called the ambulance, they sent the orange helicopter from Lindsay to downtown Toronto, six minutes, man. Boom, one time, six, six minutes. Wow. Yeah, man. Fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's going that fast. No, you know no, what no, I mean? No. Over here. Oh, this is the old rad, too. Oh, old that, copper that brass rad. More. This is his old tow truck back in the day. So I got, um, yeah, I got the hood off the other one that was here. I guess he got rid of that truck. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah again. You got rid of it, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, we changed the hood, we changed the oil line, we changed the oil. Yeah. Right? Well, the oil was gone, so I had to fill it up, right? Yeah, yeah. And then nothing happened. I have the engine, I have the motor mount too, because what happened was, oh, what's this one? Oh, this just a pulley. Yeah, it is pulling. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, because yeah. mine looks different, man. Mm. I gotta make sure this this thing fits. That's mm. the thing, right? Yeah. Because yeah, with that extra implement there, yeah, yeah I gotta. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta take a look at mine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Let's check the door. See if there's sticker on it. Well, this has been painted, so no sticker's gone. Yeah, he probably painted this too. Because he painted his other truck, the black one over there. Okay, well, wish me luck, guys. You know, hopefully I can get the truck on the road before Christmas. It's now Thursday. Um, what, nine days, ten days before Christmas. So hopefully, but it's funny. So many things happened to me a month before Christmas. My old 4Runner, I had a head gasket blow like a month before Christmas. Um, this motor in uh, my firewood hauler, I got it rebuilt before Christmas and it was in the shop for two months. Um, yeah, that was in December that it happened, pretty much to the day. And it took two and a half months to, to find all the parts and everything. Like, I had a hard time finding the parts. I had to drive down to Lake Erie, which was like a good like hour and a half drive. I had to go out there early in the morning and get back in time to do something else. But um, yeah, and that guy was a ripoff too. I just had to buy some exhaust parts, right? So there was a whole fiasco doing that. And last year I had my best year ever after being on my face with the truck down till the end of February. And then uh, March, just everything picked up. I got like easy work, um, just uh, buying items and reselling them and having to deliver them. And then the lockdown hit and then the roads were empty. So I had to drive like a, a bit of ways northwest of the city. And then I had to go, you know, north of the city from there, and I had to go northeast of the city. So I was, first I was driving across the top of the city, um, a good ways, about maybe ha half an hour north of the city, I was getting rooted that way. And then uh, when the lockdown hit, then I started going right through the, um, then I started going right through the center of the city and the major highway, because the roads were so dead. Like if I wanted to go west, uh, the airport is in the west of Toronto. It's actually in Mississauga, the suburb. And then I had to go to the west end of Mississauga on the north side and then a little bit north of there 
to um, go and uh, start my pickups there. And you could leave at 8 o'clock in the morning. You could do 120 kilometers or full speed on the highway. Um, 75 miles, 80 miles or whatever. You could go right to uh, Mississauga or right through Toronto and Mississauga through the airport um, area, which is the busiest section of highway in North America. Yeah, and right. you could just blow through all of that right through both cities at 8 o'clock in the morning when it's supposed to be rush hour. So... Here I am back in the same position, needing uh, some big work done and having to spend some big money right before Christmas. How about that? 94, they are the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I call GM. Yeah. And find out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, man. Uh, but as far as we tell the key, boom. It's yeah. Starts. Yeah, these trucks, they start pretty man. good. Yeah, they, everything before stronger yeah, than. Yeah, I, I drove it here la yesterday. I, w I want to call you, but. I, I was too hurried to go and tow somebody's car. Oh yeah, okay. I put one battery here and then turn the key yeah. with a cold boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, well lunchtime. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm going to by by all means by all means by Saturday you're gonna get the engine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe we get Anthony to come with the bobcat and bring it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay man. Yeah. All right. Okay, man. See you in a bit. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. Well, wish me luck, guys. I hope I don't have to have any problems after this. And I'm going for a motor that was running really well. And that other motor, yeah, it's going to be okay. It's a diesel. You know, it shouldn't be much of a problem. But, you know, the repairs are going to come up sooner than on my other truck, right? So. funny how things go sometimes, you know what I mean? So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.